Workers at Phoenix Park Gas Processors Limited and Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited claim they've been given bribes in the form of movie town tickets and other items to keep quiet about their frozen salaries and downgrades in performance appraisals. Through their union, the Public Service Association, the workers held a press conference on Sunday to highlight their concerns. PSA President Watson Duke said the company has been making a substantial profit over the years, yet the company's president and CEO aren't giving the workers what is theirs. Rishi Harinanan has more. Claiming to have proof, Watson Duke said while the appraisals of workers' performance are to be done by the immediate supervisors, those higher up aren't allowing that to happen. But what is interesting to the PSA and the National Trade Union Center is the second paragraph that begins like this. At the end of the review and alignment process, your score has been revised from A5 to A4. The reason for the change having been noted in the revised performance evaluation. Duke went on to outline bribes given to workers to keep quiet. The matter is before the the, the those who are performing conciliation at the Ministry of Labor and is offering workers tickets to move it on. But then he became more absurd when he went on to offers, offer workers vouchers. I say vouchers to Ruby Tuesday. He alleged fraud on the part of those in charge. His way of base. It is wrong, and it speaks of a level of curious behavior. I will even say borders on fraud, a matter which we would have taken to the Ministry of Labor, and is currently now before the Ministry Conciliators. And our next date is in July, when both the employer and the employee through their union, the PSA, will have a say on this. In early 2019, the company issued a statement reporting an after-tax profit of $253 million in 2018, which is an 8.2% increase from 2017. Duke said the workers are open to negotiations and it's now for the company to meet with them before further action is taken. Rishi Harinanan, TTT News.